Every single one of us will be faced with a stark choice at some point in our lives. Stay silent in the face of injustice or speak truth to power no matter the consequences. Speaking for myself, I have come to such a crossroads, and as a man of conscience, I refuse to be silenced. I will speak out against this injustice. Yes, I'm talking about The Acolyte Season 2 has been canceled. I can't cancel, I cast. We cannot allow this travesty to stand. The Acolyte represents more than mere storytelling, world building, plot, Character development is irrelevant because the acolyte is giving voice to the voiceless, allowing marginalized people to be their true authentic selves in public. Quite frankly, the people who are obsessing with plot, character development, world building stuff, all they're doing is reinforcing patriarchal heteronormative oppression. Do you really want to be associated with people like that? Leslie Headland has said the acolyte is the greatest work of art she's ever created. What qualifications do we, the audience, have to judge art? Hmm? Who is the most qualified, in the best position to determine the quality of any particular given piece of art? That's obvious. The artist, of course. How dare we question Leslie Headland's judgment? Do you all realize how much Leslie had to suffer for her art? Listening to women beg and plead while they tried to fight off Harvey Weinstein, while Leslie held the door shut so they couldn't escape? Do you realize what that would do to your soul? Well, what it would do to a person if they had a soul? What I'm trying to say here is Leslie is the real victim of Harvey Weinstein. The Acolyte is more than a mere TV show. It is giving voice to the voiceless. It is true that women, a few, okay, a lot of women got hurt while Leslie Headland was working her way into a position to where she could make her art. But she can't make omelets without breaking some eggs. And that was a price Leslie was willing to pay to speak her truth. We should be thanking Leslie for her sacrifice, recognizing how she suffered while those other women suffered all so that Leslie could bring us the Acolyte. We are told that when Kathleen Kennedy heard the Acolyte story, she openly wept. Who would be better qualified to recognize great art than Kathleen Kennedy? I mean, just look at the list of projects she's been associated with over the years. Kathleen Kennedy is the first woman of something or another to be head of a major Hollywood studio. What that means? Kathleen Kennedy is more qualified to evaluate the ideological, I mean, the artistic merit of the acolyte than the audience. The fact that you have a problem with the acolyte and Kathleen Kennedy, frankly, says more about you. You need to educate yourself. Do better. Amanda Stenberg, the actress who played Osha May, has said that the audience rejected the acolyte because they're a bunch of is and phobes. Mic drop, what more do we need to say? It's self-evident truth. How can Disney give in, surrender to these ists and phobes? The acolyte represents more than mere money. If we can save just one life, it's worth what? Billions? Huh? I'm willing to bet you those same billions, Disney's money, because I'm not putting my money on the line, that it was a man who canceled the acolyte. A small-minded, insecure little man who's not down with the struggle and is threatened by strong women. I'm willing to bet you he has small genitalia as well. I'm saying he's impotent. In conclusion, my fellow Americans, and you other people around the world who really don't matter, well, Americans really don't matter either. It's only the rich and powerful who truly matter but I'm revealing too much. My fellow world citizens, I'm asking you, nay, I am begging you, stand with me in united opposition against the oppressor. Refuse to be silent. Speak truth to power. Fight against this threat against democracy. For the children, demand that Acolyte Season 2 be renewed.
If you all have made it this far into the video and you don't recognize sarcasm, all I can say, bless your heart. Ha ha, Randy, very funny. Why didn't you make a strap-on joke? Mock Leslie Headland being a lesbian while you were at it, huh? I see what you're up to. I'm on to you. That's a trick question. Lesbians trying to be their authentic selves don't use phallic objects. Because if they did, that would mean they're using heteronormative values to legitimize their sexuality. Oh, come off it, Randy. Lesbians do all sorts of things. Yeah, the ones who haven't gone down the ideological rabbit hole. It becomes all-consuming, invading every aspect of your life. And that's particularly true when you go down the ideological authenticity rabbit hole, which historically has been another term for purity. That always leads to a dark place. At any rate, I hope I've given you all something to think about, or at least to laugh. And until next time, you all be safe. If you all are still here, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. While you're at it, why don't you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. You can hear me yammer on about some other inane thing next time. And feel free to share this video far and wide. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment.